Okay, I'm here with Professor Siegel, who's in the Center for 21st Century Studies, and he's going to say a few words about post-development. In our, in our program, we're really interested in getting outside a single discipline and outside a single culture for its perspectives on what's called development or post-modernity or globalization, a lot of different words for the phenomenon of the effects of Western culture's agenda spreading throughout the world. Uh, we spend a lot of time with the idea of post-development, which is a sort of loose association of figures from around the world uh, who, who have noticed that the development failures that we lament so greatly have a lot to do with the way in which Western development experts from the time of the famous 1951 UN report uh, have seen development as the need to wipe clean the slate and begin modernizing everything according to how things work in the West, taking ourselves as the peak of development and wanting to go out and share or, if necessary, impose that upon everyone. So you have figures like Arturo Escobar, a Latin American scholar, whose response is that development has created underdeveloped and has created poverty as cultural categories that enable the banks and the corporations to move into Latin America and walk off with the wealth. The shocker about development efforts is that more money moves south to north than moves north to south. Um, that something like 38% of our development daughter dollars ever reaches a place like Latin America, and the rest go into the administrative cost and the American-owned, European-owned machinery of development. That's what we like to hear when we're on the road talking with grassroots activists in Sri Lanka who have given up on international development and want to do sort of a local version out of local communities, agendas, using local expertise and a lot of non-modern methods that may be more sustainable in the long run. And that, that effort to return culture to development, uh, that is to say cultures other than our own, that we have uh, a fatal tendency to erase sometimes, that's a lot what post-development theory is really interested in. Mm -hmm. It's a way of trying to cope with what has evolved as a sort of two-layer uh, globalization that Manuel Castells talks about in his famous trilogy on the information age, in which down on the ground you have the, the classic space of places where most people live and work and you know, have their references to reality. But way up on top of it, uh, in, a, in a kind of cultural stratosphere, is the space of flows. That is where digital technology transmits information, money, and power all over the globe. And so the people who operate at the nodes between the space of flows and the space of power mm -hmm. of, of places have enormous power over what happens and what doesn't happen to the people who are living at ground level. Mm -hmm. So in our program, we work very, very hard to, to re-articulate those, to multiply the connections and the channels and the flows so that the privilege of Chase Manhattan to walk off with everybody else's money is more difficult to get away with. It's more difficult to keep that invisible once you begin questioning interrogating and getting into the culture of development that has a powerful way of blinding development people to the kinds of perspectives that exist on the ground in cultures really different from our own. That's great. Thank you very much, Professor Siegel.